Hello and welcome to Marumba. Thank you for joining me. Let's play some more of our old alliance reversed campaign. Don't worry, we're going to attack we're, we're going to attack France soon ish. You know, we just have to beat up on everyone that's in between first. Okay, there are still two heavies out there. Um nine galleys versus two heavies, by all means, let's go give it a shot. Okay, so we're going to let him form up an army, because it's just another army for us to kill. Still try to piece out Alsace. Every fort that we occupy is going to be pretty good. Looks like he's murking up right now. Which is totally fine. When we engage that army, it'll be pretty advantageous. Uh, you know what? Actually, I'd really prefer for you guys to just manually come together. I don't want these two ships on their own. Surprisingly low progress on this siege. Wow. It's very inefficient to even try. Alright, let's ignore him. He'll he'll want to leave the war eventually anyway. And it's a no leader army. Versus Kennedy Hume. Who rolls a zero back to back. But he follows it up with a nine, which we appreciate, and then a zero. I was looking over the ideas that are available for like future idea groups and I'm pretty sure we're gonna take offensive next I mean defensive would be nice for the extra guaranteed land leader maneuver not to mention the extra yearly army tradition would stack really well with just like having good generals um, but offensive gives us discipline and it unlocks a policy that we can use. Siege ability plus 10%, leader siege plus 1. I like that better than I like defensive. I mean, the most compelling thing to me in the defensive one is going to be the first two, which are really, really strong. But... Yeah. Stacking the... Uh, we already have plus 1 guaranteed land leader shock, so having plus 2 guaranteed land leader shock... Um, it's just... It's really good. I don't know what Burgundy's doing though. This leaderless army is weird. Completely ignoring my war with Sweden is definitely going to run its toll. Although Burgundy's the one that's doing the sieges here. I think Sweden is still totally distracted by their Muscovy War. Which is great. It's working out fantastic for me. Can't seem to get lucky on this Brabant siege. That's rather annoying. That's really bad. Oh shoot, there's an army there as well. Hey, we actually got lucky in that siege. Cool. I like it when I actually get lucky. So we have Hussite heretics up there as well. Well, I'm going to have to deal with that. 39 war score is just not going to do it. He's down to medium enthusiasm, but... We really do have to have like 70 war score probably just to be able to negotiate that deal. Genoa's down to low enthusiasm. Let's get you out of the war. And I am totally out of manpower. We do have enough papal influence so we can do holy war. I think we will. And it looks to me like it's probably about that time to merc up. Oh my 
God, that's a lot of dudes. But my infantry are far too strong for you. What am I going to do about this damn Hussite Heretic Rebellion? So at 50 war score, the battles have helped. Still not nearly enough, I think. And I've got to go deal with that. I cannot let them take that holding. Only 6,000 infantry out of 17. But, stack wipe some more cannons. Can't get there. I've got to go up there and deal with this. He's just squirming here. Just the amount of like little one stacks that I get to wipe is kind of crazy. Down to low enthusiasm. But regardless, the bands exceed war score. By far too much. Okay, let's go deal with the Hussite Heretics for a moment. I just have to. It's really unfortunate, but... I'm going to combine everything. Shift Consolidate. Keep Kennedy Human Charge. So we got 15 in the front row. They've got tons in the front row. What's that going to be? 13 plus 20... Plus 17... I have 30 in the front row. And I've only got... Not nearly that many. I've got enough in the front row to actually protect the cannons, so that's what's important, but... Their army's very, very wide. No cannons. And we're taking a negative two penalty. Okay, Kennedy, don't roll ones. Roll like ten. Roll a nine. Okay. My lights are doing their job. Well, one of their many jobs. Maybe we do just tech up. Good lord. Horrible timing on this rebellion. Still got a 15 stack over here to deal with. And they've got a 4 shock leader, of course. We have negative 30,000 manpower at the moment. So I'm thinking maybe some mercs. Maybe. Just maybe some mercs would be good. Oh, that's unfortunate. The amount of money we're going to lose here. I'm going to just consolidate them down. Well, not all of them. Fourteen to match the cannons, at least. These eighteen... They can go away. Then again, we will have the extra cannon, or the extra, um, the mercs to fill in the front line, but... Yeah, okay, if we have the mercs, detach the mercs, knowing that we have four mercs, I'm willing to go down to, uh, 
So just 10 infantry stacks. Close enough. Okay, do we go deal with this? And march our way over there, actually. Or do we try to go deal with this? I think it's going to have to be this. Damn, Hussites. The Vonians are now attacking Sweden. Wonderful news. That looks like a lot of horses. And again, Burgundy has no leader. I just... I don't even... just too many of them. Damn it. Alright. Gonna go back into debt again. We had just gotten out of debt. Let's get some more infantry for the front line. Still, we're so close. So close to having this PU successful. We also have a fair bit of war exhaustion right now. And uh, Rebel Uprising. The Methian Separatists and the Swedish Separatists are both getting really kind of pissy. All of this is occupied. No wonder our incomes come down. Alright, I'm going to lower uh, more exhaustion a little bit. No, he's got his capital. Crap, I need that. Probably should get a little bit more morale. Uh, I'm going to top off relations with France just in case we do decide to do something there. Uh, France. Oh my god. <laughs> so France. France has no heir. Except that I think to get the achievement you actually have to have them vassalized. Okay, I gotta, I gotta check on that. Old. Yeah, they have to be an actual vassal. It cannot be a PU. Although that would be a funny way to get the achievement. Alright, we should probably get our achievement, or sorry, our morale back up to full. Being on our own territory would definitely be better. Can we get back to... Back all the way to there? Yeah, we can. Cool. Let's go back to Utrecht. Instead of getting uh, a little bit of morale, we'll get an extra 5%. I want to go engage this army down here, the small one. We'll ignore that 14 stack for the moment. That is also something I want to ignore. Can we piece anyone else out? No. Getting the capital back is pretty high priority. So if I just sit here and siege this thing down, the Hussite heretics are going to go nuts up there. Maybe we get lucky and Spain, like, does some work. It's hard to say. But no, I have to I have to have the capital. Can't let him have a ticking war score working against me. It really is a shame that I can't just try to PU France. But that would probably ruin the uh, purpose of the achievement. So that's Alsace and Flanders. Can't do anything about Flanders. Alsace might be piece. I might be able to piece them out if I go occupy their capital. Just sit on it because the length of war bonus is gone now. I think that's well. Actually, length of war is at fifteen. Never mind. The fact that they don't want to be in the war is good. 
protect against England. 33 regiments, and we've got 32. Okay. Capital's back, 52. Totally unwilling to accept anything. Let's go see if I park in our army on Alsace's only province, if they will consider leaving the war. Puts them at one enthusiasm. They're so close. Pomerania is trying to peace out. Well, look at this. I have done nothing in this war at all, and they're all at low enthusiasm. This is kind of funny. What are you offering? You'll give me Funen. Separate peace. Why doesn't it show the points that I would pay? I kind of wanted to negotiate for that directly with Sweden. So we're going to decline. Hey, Spain. <laughs> it's a good thing you're not actually helping out against me. Come on, dude. Just peace out. Making me suffer attrition for no reason. It's annoying. Now he might, he might get back Liege. Actually, both these forts are about to fall. Alright, hopefully length of war just shifted. And now we can peace out. What's his face? Yes, it did. Good. Okay, so you leave the war. I am now exiled. Unless I go to territory that I control, which I can. It's still Silesia that we can peace out. But they're not actually participating in the war, so it's fine. We have positive war score against Sweden, so somebody's doing good work up here. Looks like uh, Spain's up there, sieging the capital. That's cool. Let's go for the plains battle, rather than go for the one there. That'll break that one automatically, and we get to just fight in a nice big wide field with our infantry combat ability. Our armies are engaged in Midtjylland. The five war score. It's not gonna be enough. I'm gonna just take a guess that he's gonna run down here. We will not be able to stack wipe him now, but I am starting to think maybe that tech would be good. I really want to unlock another military, like another idea group though. Which is why I'm... trying to rush admin. These are Swedish separatists now. Hussite heretics are up here. They're going nuts. Still no progress on, like, actually succeeding though. Rather nasty penalties. They've got cannons in the front row, and we've got infantry combat ability, and I just feel pretty confident about this fight. And we've lost. I feel pretty confident about this fight, he says, as his armies all die. And Sweden, Spain just occupied uh, Sweden's capital. I only have like two claims on Sweden. I actually have to occupy that. Alright, you know what? Fine. Pomerania. I'll just, I'll piece you out.
We don't want to peace out uh, Sweden directly yet, because they're they're what's preventing. Um, Preventing Spain from defending Brand uh Burgundy. This puts us at 65 war score. Silesia, you need to leave. Hey Spain, do you want to take care of these Hussite heretics for me? Just just saying. Something you could do if you wanted to. Alright, so we have 13.8 more potential war score there. We can get another 16 war score from battles. He's already at 20 war exhaustion. We're almost there. I think it's like one more battle, preferably not in the woods across the river. Let's just go do this fight. This time we're going to win. Another five war score, that might be it. Yes, it is. Take all your money too, you bastard. Okay, Scott and the Burgundy will form a union. I win. GG. We have formed a personal union with Flanders. Okay. Now we get in the war with Spain. Uh, sorry, Sweden. Which we just want these two things, because that's all that we can actually take right now. So we don't have claims on anything else. Humiliate would be awesome. War reps would be awesome. And let's go hurriedly, very quickly, as quickly as we can, take care of this problem. Time to rival France. Alright, so he's already our uh, dynasty. Alright, cool. Nice, nice, nice. I'm going to take a break here. I look forward to seeing you again in the next video. Thanks for watching, everyone. See you soon.